Hello and welcome to Master Meteorology, the educational weather series covering the key concepts I learn every day at San Jose State while earning my Master's in Meteorology. The major question we'll answer today is how do meteorologists create a weather forecast? Let's get started. Alright, let's get into our main question of the day, how do meteorologists make a weather forecast? A strategy most meteorologists use is called the forecast funnel. The idea of the forecast funnel is you start by looking at the upper troposphere for a continental scale. You then go down and look at the regional scale midway through the troposphere. You then look at a local scale and the lower troposphere. You first do this for your current conditions. What is the weather doing right now? Once you've done that, then you go and look at the one day into the future, two day, all the way up to maybe your five day forecast. And you maybe want to spend five to ten minutes looking at that upper troposphere continental scale and you maybe even will spend hours looking at that local scale depending on how serious the upcoming event is. The reason you want to spend more time on that local scale is because this is the one area where humans still kind of have a leg up on the computer models but we'll get more into that in my next video. And when I say what you're looking at, you're looking at weather maps. Kind of maps you can look at are surface maps, infrared, visible, that one's my favorite, or water vapor. There's plenty of different kinds of maps and data you can look at to get an idea of what the atmosphere is doing right now and into your five day forecast. Things you're looking for on the map are things like troughs and ridges. A ridge will typically tell you where warm weather is. A trough will typically tell you where storms are coming in. You also want to look for where the jet stream is and what the jet stream is doing. Jet stream, if it dips down super low like it often does in winter, the majority of the US will be colder than usual. Other things you want to look out for are where are some large bodies of water. For example, the Pacific Ocean is a huge moderator on San Francisco's temperature. The last thing you want to look at is large scale terrain. Something like the Rocky Mountains is going to affect weather on both the west and east side of the mountain range. And once you've looked at all the different models, you've looked at the current conditions, tons of different maps, done all your research, only after you've done that do you make your final forecast. As much as you'd like to just pop open your phone, click open an app, it's not really how it works. If you want to get a good idea of what the atmosphere is actually doing, you have to do your research first. And I recognize you're probably not ready to make a forecast after watching this video. and Honestly, neither am I. The majority of what I know is probably what I just told you in this video. However, over the next few months, I'm going to be learning how to make an expert weather forecast and I'm going to be making videos the entire time. So if you subscribe to my channel and keep up with the videos, you're going to learn too. Thanks for watching.